Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 42 in the Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in Dota Bay 2K19. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know it's possible to recreate Kane's 2001 Titan Tron? Following on from the previous episode of Did You Know, in which we covered how to create Kofi Kingston 12's original singles Tron, Broman Brains reveals it's also possible to create Kane's 2001 Tron as this can be done by trimming the Brothers of Destruction Tron in Create a Video. In order to do this, just like the Kofi Kingston video, then you'll want to create a new video and then choose to import a Titan Tron and select that of the Brothers of Destruction. Once you've chosen the Tron, you'll now be asked to set trim points for the beginning and the end, however we're going to use the default starting point as Kane's footage is at the beginning of the video, so press right on the D-pad to select the end point and then use R2 on PlayStation or RT on Xbox to skip ahead to 1129 and press select to set the end point. By doing this, this trims out the Undertaker footage and leaves you with Kane's 2001 intro which you can then save and select and create an entrance, giving you something like this. Did you know you can use Akira Tozawa's feigned jab as an additional taunt? Previously in the series we've got a whole bunch of strike moves that also double as taunts when your opponent is out of reach, such as Tyler Bates Bob and Bang, Tony Nese's Premier Combo and Leo Rush's Soul Kick and Zaguri Combo, however today we have another one to add to this list, as Nathan Nolan reveals that using Akira Tozawa's feigned jab strike when too far away from your opponents will instead result in this taunting animation taking place. Did you know there's still a mention of CM Punk in the creation suite? Following Punk's last appearance in the series back in WWE 2K15, 2K left a few leftover assets referring to the straight edge superstar that fans were quick to find and point out, even going as far as finding old pay-per-view posters featuring Punk hidden away in the walls of arenas, with 2K then patching the game to remove them. Now though, just when you thought 2K had removed all the remaining mentions of Punk, Corey Hour reveals another as should you take a look at the Undertaker Tombstone logo in the creation suite then you can see a list of all the victims of the Undertaker streak, a list that includes one CM Punk. Did you know it's possible to perform running springboard attacks off equipment boxes? This one comes from Jamie Bramble who reveals a pretty cool feature that can be used backstage with the equipment boxes as should you equip the springboard diver skill and then run towards the box and press the strike button then this will see Superstar use the box to perform a springboard diving attack of which there are a few different animations which include a double axe handle, a diving elbow, clothesline and a phenomenal forearm. Did you know it's possible to get into the crowd area with more than two people? This one comes from Joshua Davis who reveals a trick to enter the crowd area with more than two people as should you play an Extreme Rules match or any match with a baseball bat at ringside then should you use the bat in this position against the barricade then this will see your superstar become stuck against it. Once stuck, all you have to do is run towards the crowd which should see you glitch through the barricade and into the crowd area. Once you're in, you can either let the other players grapple you to grab the bat and then use the same method to get them into the crowd or you can simply grapple them yourself and perform the likes of a suplex to bring them over the barricade and into the crowd in a more extreme fashion. Once all players are in, this gives you the ability to then access the crowd area and use the items provided with all players rather than being limited to just two. So there you go, that was 5 more things you might not know in Dota A 2K19, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would love it if you could drop a like to show your support as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.